Hi everyone, today I wanted to share seven quick tips on how I elevate my style. I'd use these whenever I feel like my wardrobe is getting a little dull, or if I feel like I'm going in a different style direction, these are just some quick tips that I have picked up during my style journey that I wanted to share with you today. So before we get into these tips, I actually wanted to share that these first three you can do without even adding anything to your closet and you can do with the clothes that you already have. So the first tip is actually changing up your shoes. This is super simple to do, just kind of reevaluating the shoes in your closet and pairing them in ways that you might have not originally thought of. For example, with this outfit, I just have my kind of basic Birkenstocks right now that I love to wear, but if I wanted to go a little bit more sporty, I'd maybe put on my sneaker, my white sneakers, or if I wanted to do something a little bit more dressy, maybe a brown suede boot with a little heel, or if I wanted to do something completely different, maybe take it in a little bit of a grunge direction, I'd put on my Doc Martens. So this is something super easy to you can do and you can just kind of change up a basic look by adding a different unexpected shoe combination. My next tip is something that I do pretty frequently and it is creating contrasting looks with different types of styles. So this is something that you can probably already do in your wardrobe as well. You probably have some things that are a little bit fancier while some things are more casual and that's a great place to kind of start mixing and matching and kind of playing around with different outfits and making contrasting looks. So for example of kind of how this works, here I have a really kind of simple feminine outfit with a floral blouse, a nice soft uh, sweater coat, some skinny jeans, and a ballet flat. And contrasting this more kind of feminine look, I can add some masculine pieces. So that's swapping out the shoes for an Oxford for kind of a more tailored masculine look, and then swapping out the coat, the sweater coat with another kind of more structured tailored piece that feels a little bit more menswear as well. So kind of having this feminine and masculine contrast and combination. So for this second example, this is something that a lot of you can probably do, you have more formal pieces and more casual pieces, and here's just kind of a quick example of how to blend them. So starting with my casual look with an oversized sweater, some jeans, sneakers, and another kind of oversized sweater coat, and then for my blended outfit, kind of swapping out those pants for a more pleated kind of formal dress pant and then swapping out the coat for, again, something that is a little bit more structured and feels a little bit more formal. So having some of those more casual elements blended with more formal pieces. So for my last example, I am going to take some structured pieces and blend them with more flowy kind of relaxed pieces. So for my more structured, tailored look, I'm taking my camel turtleneck, which is a simple piece, having my business casual trousers, a loafer, and then a vintage long pea coat. And then to kind of create my contrasting look, I'm really just swapping out the pants for my Elizabeth Susan linen Florence pants, just to create kind of some flow and more dimension with the look. Loving the contrast, and this is one that I do frequently. My third tip is actually kind of looking at the colors that are already in your wardrobe and creating a monochromatic look. This is something that kind of pops up as a trend every couple of seasons or so, and it's something that obviously you can do with what you already have in your closet. For me, I wear a lot of neutrals, so sometimes that's taking just a camel pair of pants, noticing what other shades of browns that I have in my closet and just building a whole monochromatic look. It can look super, super fresh and be really fun if you gravitate towards a lot of color in your wardrobe. I'm sure that you have a couple different pieces that are of similar kind of tones of the same color. So just kind of putting those together and creating something that's maybe something that you never thought about before and a little bit inventive for your closet. So my next tip is when you're feeling like your wardrobe's a little dull, wanting a refresh and you actually do want to add something new to your closet that might be a little bit exciting or out of the box for yourself. My tip is to actually do this through secondhand shopping or thrifting. It can be a little nerve wracking if you're looking to kind of 
elevate or change up your style and really investing in a piece that's a little out of the box for you. So I love looking for secondhand options or thrifting to find those pieces that are a little bit different, but are at a much lower cost point, something that I'm really comfortable with. And that way I can feel like I can play around with it without worrying about the cost burden. I will link to some of my favorite places for thrifting or secondhand shopping in the description down below if you're interested. My next tip if you're wanting to take your style a little bit out of the box or elevate it in some way is to actually start with accessories. So if you're going to be adding something to your closet that is a little bit different for you, maybe start playing around with accessories first. I love to do this because I naturally like to wear a lot of neutrals or kind of more basic, simple pieces, but I like to kind of reflect my personal style through my accessories. So for me, that will be having kind of a animal print bag or a brightly colored bag or accessory to kind of add a little bit of fun um, or unexpected element to my looks. Or I'll do this now that it's winter through hats or scarves or even socks. Um, so kind of playing around there, or you can even do it with jewelry, have some kind of fun, more playful pieces in your jewelry that can add just that other extra element that'll take your outfit over the top. So my next tip is to actually stick to your color palette. If you're looking to add statement pieces to your wardrobe to kind of help elevate your style. So if you're feeling a little bit bored, but wanting to add a neat print or a blouse that has a real statement sleeve or shoulder or something, try looking for a piece that is in the color palette that is natural in your wardrobe. That way you don't feel super overwhelmed or feel like you invest in a piece and now you don't know how to blend it into your other pieces in your closet. I especially love to do this because I really love patterns, but sometimes I can get a little overwhelmed with how they can work with other pieces in my closet. So I'll look for patterns that are already kind of in neutral tones. So that way I know that they'll work really, really well with the pieces that I already have. My last tip is for when you are okay with investing in a statement piece. And that tip is look into investing in a piece that might be a very frequent rotating trend. So in my opinion, that's usually like an animal print, usually comes up at some season in the year as a very frequent trend. Leather is also rotates fairly often or something like a gingham print or a plaid. Those are all trends that are show up pretty frequently year after year. And so if you're looking to kind of add something that might be a statement or one of those trend pieces, those are kind of some categories that are normally safe for you to kind of invest your money in. I just got this leather chore coat actually as a Christmas gift. And while it is kind of a more laid back style or something that is I feel like a chore coat has come up recently as kind of a style element, but since it is leather, I know that years to come, it'll be something that still feels relevant for um, my style and something that I will get a lot of wear out of, even though it is a little bit of a different piece for me. Hopefully you found these tips helpful if you're feeling a little bit bored with your closet. And if you do try out a tip, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. If you liked what you saw in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button to show your support and feel free to share it with your friends if you think they'd find this content helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.